Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a very special guest with me, but he is no stranger to my YouTube channel. If you watched Paul's now very famous stocking stuff for revenge video, I will link it for you. This is my husband, Paul, if you haven't met him. Welcome Hello. back. Hello. Thank welcome you. back to my channel. Thank you. Thank you. So since we're on Christmas vacation, well, I'm on Christmas vacation, you're working all the time. Working all the time. He's home today, so we thought we would film a video for you all. A little Q and A. So I reached out on social media and asked if anybody had any questions, and we got several questions. Excellent. I didn't think we would, so I was. Thank you all for asking questions. We are very honored that you would care about our lives. <laughs> so I have them here on a printed paper, and I haven't really looked at them other than just putting them on the paper. I haven't really thought ahead, so that it's like totally candid, which is unusual for me because you all know I'm a major planner. So we're just gonna wing it. You ready? Wing it. Okay. First question, this is for both of us. Excellent. What makes you laugh together? When she and her sister start their whatever makes them laugh, some funny comment, office quote, whatever the case may be, watching her laugh, like really laugh, makes me laugh because it's oh. funny. That's cute. I would say, watching the Big Bang Theory, we laugh together at that. We chuckle, we don't laugh laugh. Oh. So, I think it's funny. She laughs hardest when she talks to her sister. That's true. Ever. So, that's okay. that one. What is your favorite thing about the other person that maybe most people wouldn't know? My favorite thing about Paul that most people don't know, if you don't know him personally, is that he's very, very generous. Um, yes, you are. And really, um, if you are a generous person, then you know how to love really well. I think that is part of what makes him such a loving person that he's so generous to me and to other people and I love that about you. Aww. Uh, about her. Well, hopefully I would tell everyone how much I love her so there's really nothing that others don't know. Thank you. That's my answer. That's my answer. I don't want to cheat out of that one. That's alright. Okay, I love this question. This is from my friend Becca and this is, this is really a good question. Whitney, if you had to do Paul's job or fill his household duties for the week, what would you be really good at and what would you be not so good at? And then you have to answer the same question for you. Okay. If you had to do my job or household duties for a week, what would you do? So I have always said I could never do any of the jobs that you do, like earning a living the way that he does. Because like right now, his job is working on his feet for like 10 hours straight. I would have a migraine and I would cry and go home and I'd be terrible. And he works with people and everybody loves him and he's great at customer service. And I just, I'm not, that's not my strength. So I would really stink at anything that Paul does. So that's my answer. I would do the exact same thing she does, a little less organized. I'd probably be a little more. About I would like to say, say manly about things and handling so. people and drawing the line and being a little more of a cowboy, but I wouldn't want to get fired either, so I'm sure there's a good balance to find. Yeah. What about household duties? Not a chance that I could keep up, so I would try. I'm a good vacuumer, so we would, we would have dust-free carpet living, That's but true. it would be clutter above two inches. You're not a clutter person. That's not true. I'm the clutter person. We can go look in my room right now. Well, that is it's true. It's cluttery. Yeah. People would like to know your recipe for the perfect hot dog. Like how you cook <laughs> it and how you, and how you plate it and all that. So. Okay, so I am a boiled hot dog. So I know I've lost most people our grill or uh, something like that, which is fine. I hate black marks on my hot dogs. I'll eat it, but it's not as good. So I boil until the water just is boiled for about 10, 20 seconds. Um, so the dog is still kind of wet. It's got a wet texture to it a little bit and then on the bun you put mayonnaise both sides and then you take a piece of American Not the inside of the outside of the bun right mayonnaise on both sides of the inside yeah. take a piece of American cheese use half a slice fold it again so it's like a fourth technically one piece of cheese on each side hot dog on top then the mustard and a squiggly line on top occasionally I'll go crazy and throw relish on there but no chili no onions no ketchup and no that coleslaw. is the recipe no coleslaw that's disgusting I have seen you do that so many times Sour in the past months. six years. The perfect hot dog. I don't I don't ever make his hot dogs for him because I don't know how to do it right. The other option that is plan B is cold hot dogs with American cheese and mustard. No just warming. Straight just in. straight out of the package. <laughs> that makes me laugh when you make that face. 
All right, somebody would like to know our favorite unique date ideas. That we've done or that we, mm -hmm. oh, that we have done. Every time we go on a date, it's either shopping to the Dollar General like we just did, or it is going to Texas Roadhouse. Or Chick-fil-A. Or Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A, we do gift cards. We buy enough for each of us to go once a week, and so we choose a night and then go and get whatever's there. Mm -hmm. So Chick-fil-A seems to be our go-to. I work at Bojangles, but she's a Chick-fil-A. So That's hopefully true. anyone that watches us from Bojangles, sorry, but chick fil is good. And we are always done the calendar cards because mm -hmm. you get a free thing every month. So if we have four of them a piece, then we have four weeks of free something at Chick-fil-A. So it kind of, it almost motivates us to go because we don't want to waste our right. free and sandwiches. And we've given gifts that way mm -hmm. and told them it's for date night or whatever the case may be. Yeah, it makes a nice gift. And Chick-fil-A's calendar cards are eight, $8, $12, somewhere in there. I think maybe even fifteen, but by the price, by the time you use the whole years up, it's well worth the totally money. Worth so it. yeah, this video was not sponsored by Chick Fil A. It could be. <laughs> Call me Dan Kathy. Somebody would like to hear the Monday Marriage Matters thing that I do on Instagram. They want to know something you do because marriage matters to you. Ooh, that's a good one. Okay, I work hard, not because I because I'm supposed to, but because. Eventually, I don't want her to, though sometimes there's a too much working so that mm -hmm. we can do a struggle Saturday video or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> but so work a lot and then try to be just as sweet when I get home. Not always. Pretty good at that. But sometimes. Oh, thank you. Scroll back to like two minutes. I'm a, I'm a great lover, she said, mm -hmm. because I'm generous and kind. That's true. Just remember that. Water break. A lot of questions for you, babe. Yes. The world would like to know your thoughts on cats. Our two are great. The rest I'm not so happy with. I'm a dog person. I've been on till six, four years ago. Yeah. The cats are four. To quote Angela, who is my spirit animal <laughs> on the office, if you pray enough, you can make yourself a cat person. What makes our cats different? I have spanked them and trained them in the way that they should go. Yes. And as they get old, they will not depart. <laughs> Amen. Okay. How did we meet? We First talking? time we met, she was a waitress at a camp that we both worked at. And she looked like Sister Bear from the Berenstein Bears. <laughs> it's true. It's true. So she had the little kind of bowl haircut, jean jumper. So I knew her, and that was about as far as that went. I guess I was nice to some of the waitresses. You were very nice to so, me. And then we re-met through, uh, at a basketball game that I was refereeing, a guy she was dating at the time. Who's the other referee? We were friends with, who's the other referee. And she said, oh, there's a better choice. And so she okay. chose me as that. True, that is exactly what happened. <laughs> really. Okay, how did we end up in South Carolina? And did we plan on staying here or ever moving? Came here for college and stayed. Yeah. I've told her I would move several times to a place that she would rather go. But she said no every time, even though she really hates Greenville. So it's not I mean it's not the worst place ever. It's just not my favorite. It's not my first choice. But it's okay. We just we both got jobs here after college and we just stayed and then we reconnected like we just said and we're still here. But we would move. We would. We're not. We don't have really have any ties here other than having lived here for the past 15 years. <laughs> yeah. 18 for me. You're so old. I'm old. Half my life here in Greenville. Wow. How have we celebrated New Year's Eve and day throughout the years? You all. Working? Yeah. We always <laughs> work on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. And we don't, we're not partiers. We've never, we're not, we just aren't into that. So I'm not really a partier even not even considering the drinking aspect of it. I'm not a big like social function kind of person. I'd rather just stay home and watch a movie. So that's what we usually do. If we're not, if he's not working, we're just home together on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. Yeah. Resting one day a week. Yeah, pretty much. The biggest lesson we learned about marriage during our first few years. It's tough. Married. <laughs> it was harder than I thought it was going to be. 
Would you agree? Yes. Yeah. It's always tough to mesh two single ideas and thoughts and all that into one. Stubborn firstborns. Both stubborn firstborns. Yeah. So it's not easy. So that's probably the hardest. Mm -hmm. I know that honeymoon period lasts for however long, but after that it's giving up a lot to gain more, but you don't think about it at the time. So that would be hopefully anyone's answer. Yeah. I don't think ours is untypical. Yeah, I kind of learned I had to work at it a little harder. I thought it would just come naturally that I would just be a good wife. And it doesn't come naturally. You have to work at it every single day. So. Oh, what are each other's, what are our pet peeves? Her pet peeve is leaving wet towels on the bed. My side of the bed. Her side of the bed. <laughs> Never on his side. Different driving styles. So we have pet peeves there. Uh, she doesn't like me yelling and screaming when I'm playing video games or keeping her up. You know, I haven't done that in a long, a long time. time. Six months. Um, no, like years. You haven't done that in a lot of years. Just small stuff that she works hard to do things and then I just like boop and then not willingly just I'm a guy that's where the towel goes on the bed until I'm ready to pick it back up and it's not like I leave it all day she lit I literally put it on there while I'm sitting on my side putting on my socks and she comes and grabs it and moves it so ladies you know what I'm saying it's not that big a deal go ahead and write in the comments below we'll let him have some slack but that's about it usually when it comes to driving or house organization yeah cleanliness kind of thing not that you're a slob because no, you're not I'm not no and your pet peeves you don't really let them show because you're super tolerant but my driving is your number one pet peeve right yes I, it's up there I drive like a grandmother or I don't go fast enough or I'm timid or whatever timid. yeah I'm just scared people are dangerous out there Someone wrote on here favorite date ideas, and it doesn't say that we do. I would say coloring is a good one. Uh, did it in college, not when we weren't together in college, but um, it's an easy way to just sit down. So wintertime, Christmas, you can put on the fireplace, put on uh, Michael Buble CD or the Eagles or whatever you like to listen to, and just sit there at the <coughs> coffee table and just start coloring. No phones or anything like that. That's a good idea. Um, Chick fil A is a good thing, or find some place that you both like to go. Bowling alley, I don't care, whatever. But the coloring usually is legit. People will laugh and think, ha, that's stupid. But there's been a resurgence of adult coloring that's books true. and Very companies untrained. using rest times and nap times and craft time or whatever they're calling it these days. So maybe there's some science behind it, but it's a good idea for you all. Okay, thank you all so much for your questions. I, I'm really just very honored that you would care about our lives. So if you have other questions for us, you can leave them in the comments below and we'll answer them in a future video. I kind of, oh, cat hair. Um, I kind of just haven't featured Paul on the vlog very much over the years. So I'm gonna try to keep him in, keep him in the loop on the channel more. So there's more, there's more Paul in the future, which we all are happy about that. So. If she can get it, if I can get it in contract form. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have anything else you want to say? Like and su subscribe, share. All right. Thanks, guys, so much for watching. We will talk to you later. Take care. Bye. Bye. Brought to you by the letter O. Is then, oh, my husband's so amazing. What are you doing? American Challenge. <laughs> Mic drop.